if you've been using FL Studio for a while, you've probably come across or at least have seen Patcher. It's this virtual environment inside of FL Studio which allows you to do all kinds of stuff. And oftentimes, it is only used to add more FX plugins to the mixer when it gets full. It's definitely one of FL Studio's least explored feature or at least hasn't been used to its full potential. How's it going everyone? I'm Brandon J from WA Production and today I'm going to show you some of the useful patcher presets that I use for my own productions. And at the end of this video, I'll show you some places where you can download some of the best patcher presets for free. So let's dive right in. The first one that I use quite a lot actually is the Yulian Multiband Sidechain. This is not your ordinary sidechaining method where you simply duck the entire signal of one element to make space for the other. So I have this kick drum right here. Right under it, we have a white noise. The most audible frequency of the kick is in the lower spectrum, around 20 hertz to 300 hertz. As you can see, it's pumping right here. As I have mentioned earlier, the difference between the traditional sidechain and the multiband sidechain is that the traditional sidechain ducks the entire frequency of the signal just like what we have here. See how it sidechains the signal as a whole? Increasing the threshold will make the effect significantly more pronounced. Now, if we compare it to the multiband sidechain, wait, let me disable the other one first. Notice what happens when we crank the sidechain. Oops, I forgot to enable. So as you can see, it's only ducking the frequencies of the white noise where they are clashing. Let's make it even more pronounced. Look at how well the mid to high frequencies have held up compared to the low frequencies here. Now let's try applying this in a real mixing scenario where we have a background music and a voiceover. On the plugin page, notice the how certain frequencies are clashing, as well as the free ones, will be highlighted initially. To narrow your, the goal is to duck the background music to make space for the voiceover track, and I will show you exactly how to set it up. You first have to insert Patcher, of course. And then go to presets and select your lean multiband sidechain. Then you sidechain the voiceover to the background music. Remember to sidechain, not route. Then you go back to patcher and click map. Then right click from FL Studio and then find that voiceover. And then you'll have to route that signal here. Now, the last thing to do is mess with the knobs. On the plugin page, the plugins you own a license for, as well as the f that's before. Now, let's crank the sidechain in the release and see what happens. On the plugin page, the plugins you own a license for, as well as the free ones, will be. It sounds way better now, but let's fine tune it a little bit. On the plugin page, the plugins you own a license for, as well as the free ones, will be highlighted initially. I'm just going to consolidate the next two, although they have their own purpose. They share the same concept, which is mid-side processing. They are the mid-side EQ and mid-side compressor. Unlike the traditional way of processing audio, these two are different. Different in the sense that they process the mid and side signal independently. If we do it the traditional way, all channels, the side and the mid, will be affected by the curve. The same thing happens when we use a compressor. Now let's start adding the mid-side EQ and see what difference it makes. Let's go to presets, filter, and there you go. As you can see, we have a fruity stereo shaper right here splitting the channels. We have side and mid. Now listen, pay attention to how the sound changes. If I dip down all the frequency of the side channel right here, you'll only hear the mid signal play. Look at the left and right signal feed of the drum bus. Pay attention to how it changes as I set the preset back to default. 
Now look at the left and right channels. The same concept applies when we throw in the mid side compressor. If I take out the mid, you'll only hear the side. If I take out the side, you'll only hear the mid. You can modify this according to your mix needs, like an EQ can be added before and after the compressor, and so on. The next patcher preset that I often use is the Ulean Stereo Tool. This is a great utility patcher preset and it kind of works similar to the Fruity Stereo Enhancer. Great plugin by the way. And it can be used for both mono and stereo tracks. So let's pull out our preset right here. So we have our mid, side, wideness, face offset, mono bass, original, and output volume. The mid and side are only for stereo tracks. If I turn down the side, nothing happens. But if it's the mid, it'll cancel the entire signal out. That's because it's mono. Wideness from the word itself widens the audio. It does this by offsetting the timing of the left and right signal. So a mono track could somewhat turn into a stereo when this one is adjusted. Mono bass is the opposite of wideness. It turns stereo tracks into mono. There's absolutely no need for us to mess with it right now since we are processing a mono recorded vocal and I kind of rarely use this feature or sometimes not at all. Face offset, just like the name suggests, offsets the face of the signal. I usually just keep this at the center. So to sum it all up, I only use the stereo tool for creating stereo signal from a mono track, which I kind of do a lot, or turning stereo into mono as well as the mid-side gain control when working on a bus channel with multiple panned instruments, which I often do as well. And the last one is called One Knob Multi Effects. I often use it as a temporary plugin, especially if I just want to put some ideas down as fast as possible, or if a client wanted me to create a rough demo of their song as fast as I could. However, I do find some of the features useful and I use them permanently on some tracks. So as you can see right here, it's fairly simple. It only has a few knobs to mess around with. First one right here, we have Grow Speed, which adds creative syncopation to your track. You can automate this knob to create some variation. And then right next to it, we have Squeeze. I barely ever use it, but it does have some creative use to it as it adds distortion to the sound. Next to it, we have our phaser. And then we have our flanger, which adds step and movement to your sound. Now we have our low pass and high pass, which I admit I use quite a lot, especially when creating transitions in dance music. Again, both can be automated. Next, we have our delay. And lastly, the reverb. Now, I will show you some of the places where you can download free patcher presets made by the community and other developers. I will include the links in the description below. That's a wrap on this video. I hope you guys found something truly valuable to take away today, and I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. If you're new around here, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell so you won't miss a beat. Again, I'm Brandon J from WA Production, signing off.